So how can you write a percentage as a fraction? Uh, let's just take a, a different one right here. Let's just say it's 38%. Well, that's 38% of 100. It's that idea of 38 parts for every 100 that we could come up with 38 over 100. So 17%. Well, that would be, if we were talking about 100 pennies, 17% of 100 pennies would be 17. So it would be 17 of 100. If it was 93%, it would be 93 one hundreds, uh, 93 of 100. Now, how would we read these factions? 38 one hundredths, 93 one hundredths, 17 one hundredths. And how would we do that? You could simplify it down and then or just divide the top number by the bottom number and you would get 0.38 or you'd get 0.17 or you would get 0.93. You can see how you start to see a relationship between percentage, fractions, decimals. So let's go through and, and clear this off and, and try a few other things. Um, what if we were talking about 115%? Now really, uh, percentage is only supposed to go up to 100%. Anything else is just in excess, like, you know, that's 15% that's more. So if we said, what's 115% of 100 M&Ms? What's 115% of 100 M&Ms? So we have 100 M&Ms. Okay. So now we got to figure out, okay, 100% of 100 is 100, but now we need 15 more percent on top of that. So we would need 15 more to represent that. So that would be 115 M&Ms total. So what's 115% of 100 M&Ms? 115. How could I write that as a fraction? Well, 115 over 100. So how could I write the uh, percentage 250% as a fraction? You would still put it over 100. And then uh, the other part that we would look at is that you can always simplify your fractions. Well, let's see. Both of these could be divided by 25. So after you make it into a fraction, you can still follow the same rules you're used to as far as simplifying it. Uh, 100 divided by 25 is 4. And uh, 250 divided by 25 is 10. Divide both of those by 2, so um, because it goes in evenly. 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So that would be your simplified version, or if if they're not very picky about wanting it simplified, you can use that. Most of the time, they're going to want it simplified. So let's try that again. Uh, let's try putting a percentage into a fraction, and then let's just go through and simplify it. So let's just say 15%. Okay, so that's 15 over 100. Divide both of them by 5, and that becomes 3 /20. So there's your simplified fraction.